This is the first in a two-part video where I will demonstrate how I made plaster moldings from a cast. This first video will be the casting part and in the second video I will show how to make the molding or last. To begin you'll need a bowl of warm to hot water, some plaster wrap, and a pair of scissors. I split the casting into two phases. The first being the bottom and the sides of my foot and the second being the top. I began with the bottom and sides of my foot. I followed the directions on the plaster wrap by dipping it in hot water and putting strips of about three to five inches across the bottom of my foot and coming up on the sides. I did this by laying on my back and putting my foot in the air while I put the strips on. This is a bit awkward and if you have somebody else that can help you I highly recommend trying to lay on a table or a bed with your foot hanging over the edge upside down and having the person do the strips for you. The plaster wrap said to wait for 20 minutes. I did this and then instead of trying to pull my foot out I found that it was better for the casting itself to pull and stretch my skin without moving my foot. This kept the cast structure itself intact. With the bottoms done, you can set them aside and move on to the tops. To do this, I sat in a low stool with my feet out in front of me on top of a plastic sheet. The process is the same where you put three to five inch strips or so onto your top of your foot now. I worked from the front to the back. Also, you'll want to go around your ankle and around your heel. Here you can see how I took each strip and massaged it into the rest of the casting and along my skin. It's quite easy and forgiving to work with. It's important to just smooth out each piece so that it's quite uh, close to your skin, but also that you're spreading the little bits of plaster throughout the casting. Once the plaster strips have hardened sufficiently, you'll want to be able to cut the piece so that you can get your foot out. I think the easiest way to do that is to cut at the back of your heel. You'll need some sharp scissors. I recommend small ones that can easily get into the space. And you just simply cut down and pull apart the piece. I recommend working slowly as you do this process. Again, just as you did in the bottom and the sides, I recommend pulling and stretching on your skin instead of moving your foot. As you do this, you can also slip your fingers around the casting, especially on the bottom part, and kind of work your way around the sides and out to the front. To prepare for putting the two pieces together, you'll want to snip with the scissors any excess plaster wrap that by now should be nice and hard and easy to cut. Once you've finished cleaning up the top, it's time to put the two parts together, the bottom and sides and the top. When I did the bottom and sides, I was a bit more careful with the sides of my foot than I did with the top. Knowing that I would be putting the sides and the bottom piece 
inside the top piece. This is a good time to look around at the entire piece and see if you see any problems. In my case, right where I'm pointing there, there was a bit of a weak spot in the plaster and I knew I had to fix that a bit as I put the two pieces together. So I made sure to start putting the pieces together at that spot with enough plaster to take care of that weak spot. Now I took the strips of plaster wrap and put them on the sides to connect both pieces, making sure to, again, smooth out the plaster as well as I could. I continued to go around the entire piece, making sure to do the front first, working my way around the side, eventually to the back of the piece. As you're putting the plaster wrap pieces in place, sometimes they will get bunched up. The wrap that I used was actually quite easy to pull back up and smooth it back on. As I worked my way around towards the back, the piece itself got a bit more tricky to hold because of the fact that the top piece had been cut at the heel. I found that just concentrating on one side at a time was the best way to do it. Holding the side that I was working on up and letting gravity hold the piece together. Once the plaster wrap is on, it holds it all in place quite well. When you get to the heel part, you may find that it's easier to flip the piece over and do the rest of the other side first. That will help hold the upper part in place and leaving the heel part for the end. I found that this last part was the trickiest part of this whole process. Putting the, the two cut pieces back together can be a little tricky and I recommend just going slowly. I started at the bottom and worked my way up to the top. The final part of the process is to go around the, the entire piece and look for any parts that you want to redo or reshape. <laughs> 